The kick is up. It's and good. 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 Tigert has come back with four seconds left to play to tie the ball game at 14. And you can respect that decision for Coach Haston. He did it for his players. He wanted them to come out of this ball game with something. Absolutely. And that's the type of guy Coach Haston is. He's, uh, he's in it for the kids, and, and uh, a lot of respect for that call. Here's Coach, the replay. Think, it looks like he pulled a little bit He left. did, but it's, there's enough just to get inside the uprights. I think another point here we should make, though, Coach, is Ooh. how <laughs> many times today has Tiger been down there at that yardage line and been unsuccessful? If you've been Come successful with, in that nothing. situation time after time, then maybe you go for two, but they haven't been today, right. and you exactly got to go with right, that decision. Ron. Is that a situation where he goes to his players and asks them what they want to do? I don't think so. You got 11 kids on the field. You're going to get 11 different answers, <laughs> and then some guy wants to put on a clinic. Yeah. Uh, Coach has to make those calls, and I think uh, Coach Haston did this one for the kids. He made that decision. What a phenomenal game, ladies and gentlemen. We're tied at 14 with four seconds left to go. Onside kick. Nah. Well, what do you, you really don't have the time. I, I don't think, think so either, huh? Just kick it, uh, squib it, make sure they don't run it back. Yeah, I would absolutely kick it deep, uh, whoever the returner. And Jacob Johnson's a great kicker. Uh, they're going to have to return it the whole length of the field. Well, here's Could why Fogel I, do that. Here's why I think maybe you try for the uh, onside kick. It's going to take four seconds. I don't want Fogel to have a chance to get his hands on the ball and run it back. But the ball doesn't start. The time doesn't start until the offense gets back out on the field. So that's why uh, we have you up here, Coach, to keep boy, us on. This is a real <laughs> clinic up here. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Johnson to kick off for Tiger. And he keeps it on the ground. Whoa. Now that ball's Careful. live. Now and it's the over. The clock starts right now. Let's see what Fogel can got do. It. It's the last play of the game. And he's down, and the game is over. And we have co-champions. Tiger and Roseburg tie at 14 in an unbelievable state championship game. A fitting tribute to the end of this game. Tiger down by seven. They come back and score with four seconds left to play. Kick the extra point to tie the game at 14, and that's the way that it ends. There is no sudden death overtime. You know, Jerry Murphy has an interesting assignment right now because we told him to talk to the winning coach after the game. Who's he going to talk to? Well, he's got to get them both <laughs> side by side, doesn't he? <laughs> he has his work cut out for him, definitely. And I'm sure that the players are, are a little bit down right now on both sides. But I'll, I'll we tell you who's about down. It. We talked Roseburg's about it got to be down because Tiger came back. Roseburg is down, uh, and especially Thurman Bell. Yeah. Uh, I, I just uh, you know he he uh, was so keyed up for this ball game, and uh, I think the tie hurts him. Coach, I think we have Thurman Bell down on the field. Let's go to Jerry Murphy. Jerry, go ahead. Yes, we've up. got our co-champion coaches here, Thurman Bell from Roseburg, Craig Hayson from Tiger. First of all, Craig, let's talk with you. You guys came through with it there at the end, but what goes into your decision to decide to go for one points rather than two in the win? Talk about your decision. Well, we thought our play, kids played extremely hard, just as Roseburg did, and we did not want to come up with nothing. So that, that was just, you know, what I went for. Could you get a feeling for what your players thought about that? Were they lobbying you to go for that game-winning two or what? Well, I think they just left that decision up to us as a coaching staff. All right, let's talk with Thurman now. Thurman, I don't know what to say to you guys. It's four years now, and, and I guess this is half the pie, but not the whole pie. What is your feeling after this game now? Well, Tiger's kind of acting like it's a win right there for them. You know, obviously we're down. Uh, we wanted to win really bad. They made a couple of great, great plays, but we made a super drive to go down there and take the lead. But there were so many uh, back-breaking plays both ways in there. Uh, they, we gave them, we stopped them three or four times down there. We throw the interception, and they go in and get that first score. But that catch by Johnson there, I, I couldn't see it from my angle, but it had to be a tremendous catch. A few words about your kids. You've got to be very proud of their effort today. Uh, a little bit thin, maybe you don't have the depth that you've had in previous years, but they played their hearts out and came up with a lot of big stands throughout this game. Well, both teams played their hearts out out there. Obviously, both teams wanted to win that one. It was just a great, great football game, the way a state championship game could uh, should be. People came here, I think, got their money's worth. All right, Thurman Bell, thanks for being with us. Go talk to your guys. Looks like we've got Greg Fogel here. Greg, step on in, if you would. Let's talk about your feelings right now. I mentioned to Thurman that this is kind of like half a pie instead of the whole pie. You feel like a half a champion or a whole champion? Tell me about what's going through your mind. 
I think we're all champions out here. You know, we're the only undefeated ball team in the state, and we worked real hard, and so did Tiger, and they're a great ball team. They deserve a lot of credit, and what can you say? That's what happens. Greg Fogle, I think you get a lot of credit yourself. You played, it seems like, most of this game with a left ankle that was giving you some trouble. It looked like you were hobbled at times and maybe in a little bit of pain, but you came up with your share of big plays. Will you talk about your ankle for us? Oh, it wasn't too bad. You know, just something that happened on the bottom of the pile, you know, it was just a little sprained ankle and it, it did hamper me a little bit but I just went back and did the best I could do and the offensive line did the best they could do. So. Talk about that catch by Jacob Johnson in the end zone that uh, the big one for Tiger what what were you thinking when you saw that? You know that's that's just the way the ball game goes once in a while you know, he's, a, he's a good ball player he's tall and he out jumped us you know and that's that's the way you go you know he deserves a lot of credit and that's what happens. All right Greg Fogel thanks for being with us Steve 14-14 time we've got co-champions Tiger and Roseburg now it's back to you. All right, Jerry, thank you very much. And uh, really, the statements made just a few minutes ago there, uh, you know, really sum it up. Uh, some class individuals down there. And, uh, you know, Coach, Coach Haston did say, hey, I did it for the kids. I wanted them to come out of this ball game with something. Yeah, I guess you know, that is the only way you can look at it. I mean, they played so hard. You want to, you feel like you want to give them a chance to win it outright. But then again, you know if you go for that sure one, they've got part of a championship. I guess you just can't lose either way. Personally, I would like to see him go for that, too. Jerry, uh, Thurman Bell noticeably down. Yeah, I think Thurman more or less said it. He, he feels like, for whatever reason, that Tiger is the champion today and, and not Roseburg. I, I, somehow I get the feeling that he doesn't quite buy into the co-championship idea. And I guess that's bound to happen, though, when it's your team that had the lead toward the end, and then the other guy comes along and catches you. Okay, Jerry, thanks very much for the comments. We'll take a quick break. Our championship game ends in a 14-14 tie. Roseburg and Tigard, co-champions. Back at Civic Stadium where Tigard has just tied Roseburg for the state championship. We've got co-champions after a 14-14 tie. Jacob Johnson with a huge catch in the corner of the end zone to set up the tie. He kicks the extra point and a tie game. Co-champions, Tiger and Roseburg. With me now is Jeremy Asher from Tiger. Jeremy, talk about your feelings right now. Co-champions with Roseburg. Uh, it's great. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, as good as it could be, but I mean, it's still great. Uh, we played a good ball game. I mean, we really came out in the end, played hard, especially that last drive. That was an amazing catch by Jacob. It was great. Can you talk about the tie, per se, specifically about the tie? Is that kind of a strange situation for you guys, being a co-champion rather than one team or the other winning it outright? Yeah, in the regular league, they do Kansas plan, but I didn't, I didn't know that about the state championship. But, um, I mean, still a good feeling. Co-champions is nice. It's a good feel. Jeremy Asher, thanks a lot. And we've got Tom Herberger now from... He is, first of all, the U.S. Bank senior vice president, and he is handing out the OSAA trophy. Tom, why don't you take it away? Take the mic and take it away. Can we get Jerry back here, the coach? Well, let me present the trophy anyway. Oh, here we go. Congratulations. Here's the trophy for being co-champions of the OSAE Football Championships. You guys had a great game. Thank you. Just a fantastic game for our kids. We just really appreciate this, and it's a really exciting moment for Tigard High School. Well, you did a great job. That fourth quarter of football was some of the best football I've seen in a long time. Great game. Congratulations. Thank you. Tom. Thanks, Tom Herberger. Coach Greg Haston, let's talk briefly, if you will, just about that catch by Jacob Johnson in the end zone. First of all, the, the play that you called and uh, dream come true, right? Well, it's just a great catch by Jacob, and he's a, been an outstanding boy for us for three years, and to finish his high school career like that was just phenomenal. Can you talk uh, specifically about the tie and what, what, what that means to you and your program? This is the first time you've been here and you come away with the tie instead of the win out, right? Well, we thought our kids played real hard, and we were real proud of our kids, both on defense and offense, and we just, did, you know, we kicked it. We knew it was a co-championship. Craig Haston, thanks a lot. Congratulations on the 14-14 tie and the co-championship. Let's send it back upstairs to Steve Arena in the booth. Oh, wait, it looks like we're going to stay down here. We've got Thurman Bell, our other co-champion, and he gets his share of the state championship trophy from the OSAA. Thurman, a few more words. Anything else come to mind about this season? Your summation about the way things have gone for your team. It was a great season and a great ball game. Uh, of course, we feel a little bit down right now. It's ironic that it's a tie ball game. One fe team feels great and the other one's down. Uh, but uh, I think maybe tomorrow, next week, we'll feel a lot better about ourselves. I, I thought our kids played awfully hard. It was a great ball game. 
Yeah, Thurman, I noticed that when we were talking a few moments ago, it really seemed like you were down, and, and, and for some reason you feel like you guys are not co-champions, but for some reason that you feel like it's Tiger that's champion instead of you guys. Is that just because of the circumstances at the end? Maybe you felt like you had it there, but they come back and tie you? Well, I think any time that you have the lead and have the win right there in front of you, and all you got to do is stop them, and then, then, of course, they make the big play right at the end. Of course, they're ecstatic, and, and they're feeling great. And uh, if it had been the other way around, maybe we would have felt that way right down the end. But uh, uh, that's the way the ball game went, 14-14 time. All right, Thurman Bell, all, all we can say to you guys, your, your Roseburg Indians and the Tiger Tigers, hold the heads high. You guys are co-champions and, and true champions. Thanks a lot for a great game today, Coach. Steve, let's send it back to you now. Open the booth. Okay, Jerry, thank you very much for the fine work down on the field today. Uh, you know, Thurman Bell down right now, uh, but... Gosh, that team is a great football team, and they should be awfully proud of what they have accomplished uh, throughout the season. Of course, they, 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 they are a great football team. Both of the teams are great football teams. I know how tough Tiger is, and uh, to, uh, to see Thurman and, and uh, have their team be in there in, in a dual spotlight, uh, I'm awfully proud of both teams. Probably the best high school football championship game we've had in a long time, so it's only right to take one final look at the highlights, so let's roll the videotape. And a lot happened, especially down the stretch today. We picked this one up early in the ball game. Greg Fogle breaks free, Ron, 31 yards, touchdown. Roseburg leads 6 to nothing, and boy, they are sky high at this point. And at this point, we're thinking, boy, it's going to be a high-scoring ball game, especially when Tiger's right down there knocking on the door again, and then they fumble, and uh, Roseburg comes up with the turnover. Roseburg's defense answered the call time and time again, but the Tiger defense held Roseburg, and we were faced with a 6 nothing ball game for uh, close to four quarters. And there, Tiger had a chance to score on a fourth down and 13. They went uh, 12 yards and were stopped one yard short of the goal line the big play right here jeremy asher with the interception deep in roseburg's territory late in the fourth quarter and then mcginley scores on the quarterback sneak two and a half minutes left to play in the game and tiger leads for the first time in the game seven to six but roseburg comes right back this is greg fogel for 30 some yards takes the ball down inside the five yard line to the three a great a touchdown saving tackle by jeremy beard but then the touchdown right here Black to Tate Muir, and that gave Roseburg a 14-7 lead after the two-point conversion. But here comes Tiger, four seconds left. McGinley to Jacob Johnson. <laughs> he strips the ball from Todd Black, and it makes it 14-13. Tiger within one. They elect for the one point, the point after, to tie the game to force the co-championship situation, and that's exactly how we end, tied at 14 in a phenomenal ball game. Jacob just barely bent that one inside the F-Rest, Did. didn't he? That could have looked like a bad decision all of a sudden if that one didn't go in there. I'm sure he's very relieved, but you look back over this ball game, some real stars stand out. I think, uh, of course, Johnson with his catch and the point after touchdown. Mm -hmm. McGinley doing a great job of guiding the team down the field there at the end when it looked like uh, it was desperation time, obviously. Fogle running hurt. Uh, Black playing hurt for Roseburg when that uh, drive uh, comes down to the to the end of the line there for them. Actually, we could have pa practically packaged this ball game into the last two and a half minutes and been very satisfied, couldn't we? Three touchdowns in the last two Boy. and a half minutes. It turned into a great ball game. That's amazing. Tiger, you know, their fans and their ball club very excited. Roseburg a little down right now, but we can't emphasize enough a great year that they have had and that they do deserve a lot of the credit and uh, the fans in Roseburg should support this team to the hilt. Oh, absolutely. Uh, four years, 56 ball games, 19-3 and 1 in the finals and uh, you know what a great tribute Ron I have to disagree with you a little bit about action pack being in that last two and a half minutes what about the defense I know you were laughing the the ball team. Holy we cow, like there the were some you so like the defense unreal. everybody's happy right all right guys hey <laughs> this has been a lot of fun a great ball game and we want to thank you for joining us today and thanks go out to the entire channel 2 crew for all the work they have put together to put this broadcast on the air thank you very much 14 to 14 tiger and roseburg tie for the state championship I'm Steve Arena for Ed Burton and Ron Carlson and the entire crew. Thanks for watching.
This is KATU Channel 2 Portland saluting the spirit of the Northwest in Oregon and Southwest Washington. Is this the time of year you get the feeling it's you against the weather? The rain, the ice, the snow, the fog? At Les Schwab...